んにちは。それでは木曜日。それではどういう意味ですか well, ?Good evening. I'm Mike. Meet my friend Greg. We're going to start a nice beginning opening jam in A minor. And here is Rock 3. Oh yeah, guess the tempo. Yes, all puns intended. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host of Theory Thursday, Mike r u g i r e l l o Meet Jason Thomas, the co host. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Thank you for watching, as usual. And、uh, please go to our YouTube channel.、Uh, I will post the link at the end of the show. And、uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors Singer Sound Beat Buddy, Kurt Mangan Strings, Mad Hatter Guitar Products, and Guitar Tune Up San Diego. And to my right, Mr. Cthulhu, Dave Wright, SWR Video <laughs> Productions. And、uh, if you have any comments, please, or questions for the guys, please put them in the comment section. Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Jason. <clears throat> so, a wonderful guest this evening. He is a returning guest. Meet Mr. Greg Vaughn. Buddy, thanks for coming back. Absolutely.、Right、Pleasure.、On. How are you? I'm doing very good. Greg was back a few episodes, you know, I think episode 13, and,、um, you know, we did a, a, an exciting experience for you that night, and tonight's going to be another exciting experience. I'm really stoked. We've been preparing a little bit for yes, tonight. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. So, <clears throat> you know, in the idea that our audience has some expectations, you should, and we will do our best to deliver. I am very excited about a whole bunch of things.、Mm -hmm. You know, we also have, what is his name again? That is Balthazar, God of Foo. Ha! So he's obviously helping out with tonight's vibe and overall spirit. I would like to send some extra love to Mr. Jeff Bonham behind us. He's got a new hairdo. Yes. Boy, what a clean entrance and start exit that was. You know, it's interesting. You know, some, I got this whole situation where I'm trying to be comfortable.、Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, it was,、um, it's just harder to maneuver my pedals.、Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's still pretty noisy. You know, I should, you know, I have a whole new idea. When we're, when we're doing something like that, and just get used to that, or 
I have my neck pickup off and just just utilize the guitar as a kill. I mean, that's pretty quiet. I think I'm just going to do that for the night. What do you guys think? Tell me. Criticize me. It's what I'm here for. It's your show. Hello, hello. How are you, Greg? I'm doing good. Good. I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah, it's it's exciting to be back. And uh, I was uh, trying to run through some ideas in my head for uh, what we could tackle today and what we could do. And I'm excited that you were up for the challenge of uh, trying to harmonize with me. And uh, he let the cat out of the bag. Yes. Oh, oh was it too soon? I don't was I know. Supposed I don't to keep that know, one a secret. You know, you're, you're the guest. <laughs> if you want to spill beans and just, you know, drop your pants, as they say, feel free. Do it. Do everything in the beginning. That's usually what Jason Thomas does, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, well go ahead. Oh, just, uh, well, uh, as you know, like you, I teach, uh, and my home is the temple of the sacred string, hence the food dog. I've got giant food dogs out front of... Uh, we both live in the same neighborhood, so all you local cats, if you are you know, interested in guitar lessons, you have a choice, whether you know Greg or us, or oh, Greg or us, Greg or myself, <laughs> or uh, both of us, you know? Yes. I, I just thought, why not pitch us a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and you and I have been exchanging all sorts of ideas uh, for the last year or so. We hung out recently and went to a yes. Thurman uh, oh, concert. Yes. Yes, we, we were did. there with uh, your lovely wife and our friend Oscar. What's up? If he's watching, what's up, Oscar? Yes, uh, fiancé. Fiancé. Very soon to be wife. Yes. <laughs> very, very soon to be wife. Yeah, the lady of the temple. But, uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we saw... We didn't just see the normal like Jimmy Page and then with his 10 minute theremin solo or uh, Tracy Guns and L.A. Guns. He does a theremin solo. The, the, Tracy Guns great. has a theremin solo? Yes. Are yes. you serious? Yeah, yeah, he does it. He's great. But of course, you and I saw a full like two hours of theremin. And they did good songs. They were doing. <laughs> it, yeah, it was like, like classical radio head covers. Yeah, oh yeah, and jazz tunes. Portis Head. Was there more than one theremin? No, it no, just, just one, one, but there was, the, a, the was it bass and, bass and drums? It, it was a guitar or? player and drums. Yeah. Oh, guitar and uh, drums, yeah. That's and he a, would yeah. do the melodies. Okay. Yeah, and the guy was totally phenomenal. Going, yeah. yeah, that's that's a hard thing to do very uh, very, <laughs> very hard thing to yeah, do. Yeah, I've messed with it a little bit, and yeah. it definitely is... Uh, I think I sent you pictures that, that day. It was that really, yeah, yeah. That really yeah, I remember cool that. looking you, Moog, that custom-made yeah, Maple album. Yeah, you went up on stage and... <laughs> well, yeah. You don't need to announce that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so how how's uh we're doing great. Uh, we're gonna assume that you are watching the show, so you must be doing great as well. I was gonna make the mistake and ask how you were doing, and that is actually one of one of the ten rules what not to do when you're on stage. Those not, rules are they they seem to be lame. you know, but. <clears throat> <laughs> If you know what you're talking about, have you seen that post on <laughs> Facebook of the rules of, you know, what not to do on stage? Yeah. Be I think, I don't know, I, I wish we could recite more of them. That would be a decent well, topic there's a to few just of them, but, yeah. rip on each other for right I now. I mean, I could think of some. Some of mine aren't on that list, though, you know. It's like, you know. But some of those things I think I, we do all the time. You know, in fact, else. in the idea of watching him perform, because he's a pretty darn good performer, you only get to see him just sing if you're at karaoke. Because usually, the, he's the man behind many wheels. Mm -hmm. He's got to play bass and keys and sing and yeah. do like... <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you're doing up to three things when we're performing a Sometimes. song. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... But no, but just that just that whole... So we got to do a karaoke night and then this whole other... I'll do a karaoke yeah. Out. Yeah, I yeah. Can be, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it's good because on this show when you're doing the news, I'm going to I'm going to bust on you for a minute. That's good. Him and I were hanging out, I think a few episodes. Dave and I were hanging out a few episodes ago, and we we noticed how you go. So, you got to <laughs> you got to just call Hands. Matt Hatter and get some mangan and Kurt Mangan strings. Hands. Well, you don't know. forget your B-buttle. 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 <laughs> this is just is going downhill real fast. Yeah. Just so you know. It's definitely oh, like our show right now? Yeah. How, how are the ratings? I'm just kidding. I don't know. No. <laughs> is anyone saying That's anything? That's one thing. Yeah. There's but... lots of comments chiming in. Say hi to I want I want to know who's saying what up. Yeah, everybody's saying what up. We got Don, any uh, uh, Greg's friends saying hi. I think there's a few people we were waiting for to say hello. Anyhow, we want to acknowledge so. you. Um, let's get to some some music. Sure. Yeah. Um, can I do a little uh, intro? 
Absolutely. On the next yeah. one? No. Um, no, we're going to do what <laughs> I want to do. Yeah. So, uh, well, I know we got we to gotta find our, we got to get Jeff in the groove, too. Jeff's in the, um, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, when you say solo, oh, is that the, the surprise solo? The, the, the device that's, that resides behind me? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, surprise solo, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's later. That's later. No, yeah. no, I just want to do a... We have a whole a, evening Yeah, I just want to do a little intro. Uh, oh, with the guitar. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. before we play the next song. Uh, so, well, first of all, if you've seen 80s fantasy movies, then you have a big insight <laughs> into my mind and my guitar playing. We were talking about that mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah, absolutely. You're Beastmaster, mm -hmm. you're Dragon Slayer, you're Excalibur, Labyrinth, yeah. Willow... These are an essential part of my guitar system. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I love it. Uh, so I have a song called Kodo and Poto. Did you name Legend? What about, did you say Legend? No, I didn't. Okay. I, ha I don't have a Legend song. Y you can do a Legend song and a Dragon Slayer song. Oh. Yeah. So you can have those two movies. Thank, I'll, thank I'll you. The others. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so uh, Kodo and Poto were the names of the ferrets in uh, the Beastmaster that he used for his cunning. Uh, you know, he had the big cat for strength, and he had the, was it a hawk or an eagle? I, so I, I, I just yeah. tried yeah. Yeah. doing the eagle vision. call right now. But uh, I wanted to uh, 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 come up with a name that would kind of symbolize harmony and, and working together. And I actually wrote the bulk of this song when I was 17 years old. And uh, it's kind of like a Uli John Roth slash Ingve type vibe, but I also wrote it, even at 17, I, I started teaching when I was 16, and I was already thinking in terms of writing things as teaching pieces, mm. in the same way that the classical composers would write studies, you know, Bach would write harpsichord studies for his students, and he'd do an exercise in harmony and mm -hmm. all these things. So I was already thinking like that when I was a teenager to say, okay, let me focus on arpeggios or this song is going to just focus on the modes or this song is going to focus on harmony. This song is going to be really syncopated and offbeat. So this is one of those songs that's part of my system. Uh, I have a, a seven songs off my Dragon Whips' His Tail album that I call the Black Folder. And I have a copy of that. I would like to have that in my hand. Yes, it's... Dave, would you would you mind? It's it's the CD. It right Is what? it down there? I'll put it right up. Yeah, it's right there next to that sweatshirt. Yeah, that's it. That's the cover. This is a really cool artwork, and um, yeah, Jason, let's give the viewers some of um, um, these images. Turn it, turn it yeah, I'm down. looking. I'm looking. But no, can, Here, I'm gonna continue pull it out. to keep describing. I suppose. You know. So, uh, so this is uh, one of the seven songs off there that I say is in my black folder with. Uh, when my students start, you know, if I'm you're not. a complete beginner, you have to start with basic technique and theory and scales oh, and learning the popular songs. And but then I I realized that as opposed to just having exercises that can get a little clinical, I decided to take all these different techniques and just put them into songs. So it's very clever. Um, it just makes it a lot more fun. And then since it's my music and I you know, own the copyrights and I have all the tracks, I can give my students backing tracks so they can listen to the album, pick out one of my songs, say, hey, I want to learn Kodo and Poto or Dragon Whips His Tail or, or the Crane Kick or whatever. I can teach them the song, send them an MP3 or give them a CD of the backing track and they can literally go and like play in a talent show. And, uh, and it's, uh, to me, it's the same idea of doing like a kata with a, with a martial arts school. So these are, like my, these are like my seven forms. Yeah, right. So, I love the parallels there. Yeah. So I was excited that you were willing to dive into the black folder and <laughs> and tackle one of the songs with me. It's I awesome. know my cat stance. Yes. Well, I can't display it here. Well, te <laughs> technically, I, I think this would be the ferret stance. The ferret stance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Would this be the... There is like a, like a squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel, uh, squirrel kata. <laughs> So should we rock? Let's rock it. Let's do it. I want to rock. Yeah, right? It's like, it's like, I want to rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, you said you wanted to do a solo, I thought. No, no. No, no he was no, just the song. The intro. So, we're oh. going to do, we're going to do Kodo. But we're we're going to do Kodo and Poto right now. Yeah. yeah. This oh, one's boy. called Kodo and Poto. Uh, Mark what, Singer in his prime. Hey, uh, what, 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 what? What rock was that? Was it number two? That was rock. What happened to it? 
had it. It was blue. It was. Uh, no, it wasn't blues. Rock. I don't think you gave me that one, dude. Oh. It, it, yeah, I just have blues. The, the. I think. I think we were using just a real basic rock beat. And it was at. Bass. You said there, one. Bass. Bass. There. Yeah, that's right. One twelve. You said. Uh, I believe that is correct. Yeah, we need a, a Herb Alfred like song going right now while we're waiting for BPS. Yes. Yeah. Like T1 a taxi or something. So like we that. Uh, we have a, a neat tune prepared for you. I'm gonna relax for a moment here and collect my thoughts. <laughs> you can do this. Yes. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Okay. I think I'm ready to do this. Okay. I'm going to set the beat and then I'm going to do a fill on the one. Okay. A couple tiny That's things good. in there. Yeah, thanks, Jason. We were uh, having some fun with that on Halloween. We spent our Halloween hanging out and eating dinner and uh, <clears throat> learning that. Yes, that was uh, that was three out of four parts of Koto and Poto. So if you want to purchase his album and listen to it for yourself, there is another section. And uh, maybe I would actually say the next time I perform this with Greg, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that fourth section just you know out of respect for the song. Mm -hmm. But um, I appreciate you gracing me with only you saying, "Hey, you can only do three parts." <laughs> <laughs> but that was you have not yet mastered the. Cotton. No, you know I, I gotta tell you, Jason, I was shaking in my boots, buddy. Yeah, that's um those that are was, sounded rad, man. <laughs> that was cool, man. And that's is that and that's the dragon whips its tail. No, that's right? that's Kodo and Poto. That's Kodo and Poto, but it was that one of your your cards. It's it's on 
the album Dragon Whips is Tail. Yeah. The whole album, album is called but that. But I was just talking but about But that your, is your... one of the seven from the black folder. I guess yeah. technically that would be my ferret form. Ferret form. Okay, there you go. That's, that's what I was looking for, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ferret form. It would be the, the harmony technique. <laughs> there you go. There that you was go. great. Being that's... sneaky. Yeah. Yes, so... Um, maybe we should uh, do that again. You know, maybe a little later, 10 minutes from now maybe. Sure. Yeah, why not? Sure. Um... There's so many things to, to go over. You know, we, Jason and Dave and I were maintaining a little bit more looser of a situation now, but, you know, Greg is a, a wonderful, awesome person, and not to mention an incredible musician. You know, he has an extensive background, and, and you know, the, the three of us know his history, and, you know, we, we want to perform, you know, obviously good music and do great jams for you guys. So if, if you're inquiring about Greg Vaughn, you should. There are a few bands that he plays for, bands that he has started. One of them is called Donyavad. Talk a little bit about that, please. So Donyavad uh, means thank you in Hindi. And we are like a gypsy Middle Eastern belly dance band. But I play mainly, at least in the beginning, the first few years, I mainly played the baby sitar, which is really a guitar sitar hybrid. That's what I opened the show with last time. Yeah, we had that on here last yeah. time. I remember the red yeah. one. So, yeah, I've Episode got... Episode 13? I think so. Yeah, yeah so I've <laughs> got, got a couple of those. That's what I started with. Then I'd play some guitar, and then I'd played a little Saz on the first Donnybot album, but I wasn't playing Saz or Oud or Jumbush or anything else weird live. Can you describe and what a Saz is for a moment? Um... A saz is uh, an Arabic instrument. Uh, most of them, if, if you're here and you want to get one, you're probably going to order it from Turkey. And um, I have two, and I brought one today. Uh -huh. I brought my traditional wood saws today. Um, but uh, I also have what's called a jumbush saws. And what that is... I'm going to start calling you that from now on. Jumbush saws? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, French. A, a jumbush is kind of like a... A, a fat banjo uh -huh. is uh, it's it's basically a metal body with like a drum head, but it's very thick. It almost looks like a cooking pot. So anything that you pair with the Junbush body becomes a Junbush saws, a Junbush guitar, uh -huh. Junbush mandolin. So I have a I have a long neck saws and a Junbush saws, and I play that. And we have a... I can't help but to say, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just immature as usual. But so, no, yeah, fantastic. so I, I play that, and we have a Gabriel uh, playing percussion and drums, and Sandy plays fretless bass. Ooh. And then we've had a few wonderful violinists. Um, uh, we've played with Sarah Cranberry, and with Melissa Barrison, I believe you might know her. I can't get and, comfortable. Uh -huh. And then uh, also... Sarah Cranberry, who? Uh, Sarah Cranberry, and we've also done a bunch of shows with Melissa. And then we now play with Oren Cheval. And uh, the violin, we didn't have a violinist the first few years. And once we added that, it was... I, it just adds so much to mm. the authenticity and the flavor. Yeah, you kind of, but yeah. for me, I actually loved it because then w when the girls are want to go out in the crowd or do a long sword dance or a technique. A or, sword dance? Or, yeah, or snakes or hoops or whatever props they're, they're using, typically I might be soloing for five minutes. Yeah. And I love doing long extended solos, but having the violinist allowed me to keep the rhythm going mm. and then let the violin solo over mm. the top so it really filled out the sound of the band Whoa. and i i loved it that it wasn't all me the focus on the soloing mm -hmm. and then also i had someone to trade with yeah that was so was say, yeah it, yeah just really be, being able yeah it just really yeah yeah it just made things a lot more interesting <laughs> well, you and, could and, stop and, and pause and then fun. regroup and then go back in like kind of use yeah. utilize your ideas yeah. so it works so um but we do uh we, we do mainly all of our own uh, original material, but we'll do choice covers, and we'll do like rock songs, uh, even Steppenwolf or Jane's Addiction or The mm -hmm. Beatles. But if I'm playing an electric sitar or a saz, and instead of rock drums, you have hand drums instead of regular mm -hmm. bass, you got a guy sliding around on a fretless and then a violin, you can take the most commercial song, and it's 
it's going to get weird. It's going to get weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Good. that's cool. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's kind of the idea of of that band. So I've got that. I've got a T Rex tribute, Electric Ooh, Warrior. Yeah. Uh, we've got a show coming up. December twentieth, cool. with uh, Ziggy Shuffle Dust oh. and the Spiders from Mars. Yeah, Gary singing, and that's at the Casbah. Uh, that's his birthday show. Fun. Uh, Wednesday, December twentieth. How old's Gary going to be? Like twenty four? Uh, <laughs> maybe twenty five. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. his twenty fifth. What's up, Gary? Yeah. And then flip the numbers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, why not? So I do that. I, I do. I perform as Greg Vaughn. Anything from solo classical guitar <laughs> to rock stuff. I've got another rock band uh, called Phantom Cargo uh, that's been together on and off for like 19, 20 years Fun. with Amir, a high school buddy of mine, and then, and then Jose Maldonado on drums. And, um, and then I also uh, I, uh, sit in a lot with uh, Jeff Bloom, Jeffrey Bloom, and uh, I've got a show coming up with him actually in like three weeks at the Farmer's Market in Ocean Beach. Uh, the the Jeff Jeff Bloom All Stars. All right. So and I I love doing stuff like that when you're kind of just the guest. Sure. And all the structural stuff it, it, and the logistics and everything's taken care of and yeah. the, and that you just kind of show up and do your four songs. Yeah. And, and uh, it's it, it's fun to be a guest. It's kind of like you're floating on someone else's boat, you know. Yeah. And you come in and have your little moment and so and you always uh I actually. I love learning, learning cover songs. Mm. I love playing other people's stuff. I love doing have you, cover songs. Have you ever and, been a guest and just tanked? I did that recently. <laughs> it's it's just bombing. I'm still wearing it. It's a dive bomb. Yeah. <laughs> my no. My, I mean, like, have you ever? Is it, you, not you're not asking, using. You're it. asking him if he's ever bombed on, on stage as a guest. It's kind of a. Oh no! I think I think that it, it was more <laughs> about me maybe in. Introducing, I know what you're doing. I think it's like funny. that. I've done it. So have you, Greg? You're <laughs> yes. Bomb yeah. I, and would you admit it? <laughs> oh no! I'll, I'll, I'll totally you tell you the story. My absolute people have asked me that often. You know, what's your worst gig ever? I don't even have to debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't you're have like, to agonize. You're like the one you just saw. It's, yeah. it's clear. <laughs> I had I had this uh, this kid Pat years ago. Great kid, and he uh, was really tight with his whole family, with the parents, even the grandparents. Mm -hmm. And the, the grandma used to bring him for the, to his lessons a lot, so I knew her pretty well. And she was in a choir, and they were doing some big benefit show, and there were like politicians, media people there. It was at some big house way up in North County that, you know, the property was probably worth like $10 million or, you know, huge, huge property. And it was, it was a kind big, like, big, like, like this place. Big, <laughs> big, big catered, elegant event. Everyone dressed up. And she asked me, if I would uh, play guitar uh, with 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 the band, you know, and uh, and they had like a they had a piano player and maybe a drummer and then me and it was like uh, some of it was like old jazz standards and mm. things like that, but with a choir hmm. and they all had like matching outfits and, and a whole look. Was that a little difficult? Well, there was I don't remember which so this, which okay. song it was, but it, but it was all it was all crazy chords, yeah, right? Sure. You know, it was all six and diminished and and just all these gnarly jazz chords and modulations. And I went and I did rehearsal. Rehearsal went fine. I learned all the, all the songs. And then there was one song that they really wanted to feature me. And it was like my solo moment. Mm -hmm. And they were all excited. They're like, you do your, you know, you don't hold back because you're doing the, the, the nice lady choir. You know, we want you to do your thing. You know, like I see you do with my grandson in the lesson. So I'm like, okay, rehearsal went great. We get to the show hundreds of people watching we get to that moment in the song and because there were so many wacky chords in the song i just kind of blanked for a second mm -hmm. totally forgot what key it was going to modulate <laughs> to for the solo so i started playing and then it like you know it was such a tricky song it modulated again so i just ended up just going like full total out there total chromatic yeah. insanity <laughs> Because I was like lost for like half, half the solo because it kept modulating. You're like maybe B flat will work. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. I was like, I was just so fishing lost. behind, just so, fishing. So I just got really, <laughs> really out there and spacey. And then of course afterwards, everybody's like, "Oh my god, that was like yeah. the greatest guitar solo it, I've ever heard." It probably was. And I was like, I had no <laughs> idea. So to me, that was like my lowest moment ever. And yet everybody that was there was like, "Dude, I've heard you play a lot. That was like, that was like <laughs> amazing." I, I, <laughs> you, 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 the, 
I, it was know, my worst moment to me. I, but probably I would I would probably do you have a recording? You never have a recording. No, I don't. I don't have oh. a recording of it. Because if you were to if you were to go back and listen to that, it probably would have been your best moment. Yeah. Yeah. Because if everyone's like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" Yeah. Because yeah. you just let it you just let it fly, and you're like, "Oh." So, so yeah, church choir. Yeah. It's so, like <laughs> I like I can play with I rock wish. stars, yeah. but church choir. That's yeah. that's like a whole other level. Yeah. You, you got to step up. To do that, I, yeah. I, yeah, that's that's somewhat of a positive experience. Yeah, yeah. that's I, uh, cool, man. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. You know, yeah. speaking of music, let's take us uh, to. Uh, uh, you know, did well, you want to introduce the, uh, bands? Well, actually, you do? I want to uh, actually switch guitars. To... Oh, cool! Before we do I think another we were gonna... song, I th I also believe that uh, we got a really cool uh, cover for you this evening. At least a jam version of it. Yes. Uh, it's uh, it's when I grab my blues. Blues, yeah. That is weird. That just okay. No. So basically, what you described, your your worst moment in, in playing guitar. It's like my every moment when I go play guitar. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's like every time I do it. That that's what it is. It's like okay, I'm just gonna go shark eyes. Yeah. Just I don't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Better. Well, one of the things I use because I you know I. I teach my, my students is, you know, especially if you're doing a solo, you know, you can often, if you're, you just have to sell it, whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing, you, you don't, don't react. Breeds. And either if you play a wrong yeah. note, either slide up or down a half step yeah. or hammer that Make note that thing work, yeah. home um, until it's... it becomes, I always tell people, tension and release. Yeah. So if you have a little bit of tension, go with it, exploit it, but create let tension, it and then finally slip back into key. Yeah. And so I probably just went on like, Autopilot. Yeah. Everything I've ever told my students ever, and I'm just, just like, just oh, it, it, yeah. just like it, like clicked in. But I'm sure I, I'd be very curious to hear that. I would just like, <laughs> like go back in like some kind of, you know, well, figured out. Are you probably, um, probably you know, could find time machines. Yeah. Totally. We're gonna do a jam in what's the name of the song? Hot love. Hot love. This is by uh, T Rex. T Rex. It's a Mark Mark Bolin song. Mark Bolin, baby. And, so oh, yes, go ahead. no, no, no. Oh, I was just gonna uh, just wanted to point out. This is only the. Uh, second time I've used it for anything. My my new guitar. Well, this one right here. Yeah, technically Killer. it's an old guitar, and it's. Um, I heard the story about this the other night. Yeah, and it is actually, it is my fiance's, mm. but uh, she she lets me play it. So. Hi, Liz. Yes, but uh, she had been telling me about as as she called it the maroon mystery guitar, <laughs> and when she was uh, she's a traveling nurse. And she was going to be moving down to the Virgin Islands. And uh, she had this friend, I think he lived in New York. And he wanted to gift her an electric guitar because she only had an acoustic guitar. And she'd been taking classes and playing, was really serious about it. And he said, well, if you want to be in a band, because she really wanted to be in a band someday, he said, you're going to need an electric guitar. So apparently he had like 20 guitars or so, and he's like, Just pick out any guitar. You know, I, I want to give you a, a, a going away present. Wow. And she's like, no way, like I can't do that. And he's like, no, no. And she, she just couldn't bring herself to just walk through and pick out a guitar. He says, like, okay, I'll pick one out for you. So he walked through and he picked this one out. He said, I think this is good for you. This is perfect. And she's like super overwhelmed and grateful and, it's beautiful and guitar. takes it down with her to the Virgin Islands. So this mm. goes to the Virgin Islands hops around with her to some other cities, but because she's a traveling nurse, she's traveling so much, and she wasn't, uh, you know, she's a, being a nurse is very demanding. Yes, so she I wasn't going on, imagine. she wasn't going on tour with it. <coughs> she finally asked her, her friend Kara to just hold on to it. So it had been in, in garages and closets for like 20 years, so she hadn't hmm. seen it. This thing? Yeah, yeah, this guitar right here. And we were gonna be going back to Cleveland in July and, and I was excited to meet dozens of family and friends, but I was also really excited to see the mystery Jenny guitar. Gets guitar yeah. So it's getting close to the trip, and, and, and I kept grilling her, you know, like showing her shape. She's like, I just don't remember. I know it's maroon. She knew it wasn't some crazy angular 80s heavy metal thing it's or BC Rich or something, but she wasn't metallic sure. Metallic burgundy? Or like, a, it's almost like, a, like almost some pink in it, too. I don't know. Yeah, it's, and it's, like I said, it's got the sparkle. Like a, but, uh, a rune. Maroon sparkle. So yes. it, it was a couple of days before we left, and I said to her, I said, uh, I, I have a feeling, I'm like a dreaming. It's some sort of Les Paul. She's like, don't get your hopes up. There's no way he'd give me, you know, something really special. Sure enough, the, the, like the last night or second to last night before we left, 
uh, her her friend Kara had to go to the storage space. Gets the gets the guitar. I think it was the night of like the season premiere of Game of Thrones, or it just Something. made it more epic. Yeah. And we opened it up right before the show started, and, and I saw dragon it, flew out, and I just about <laughs> like just passed out. I yeah. was like, oh, you totally. gotta be kidding yeah, me. Yeah. And it's it's a it's a very very rare guitar. I think some guys from Gibson went over to work for Washburn. Washburn. I've heard that story and before. started making their guitars. So technically, it's a WP80, but I took off the WP80 mm -hmm. off the uh, off the cover, and I oh, put yeah. Lizzie yeah. in honor of my lady. So this is the Lizzie that I'm going to play, and uh, this is only like the second time I've ever used it. So I did that, played it at Marie Haddad's gig, played a song with it, but uh, rock and roll, uh, man. Yeah. So let's we'll hear what it sounds like. Sure. Here we go. We got blues three, a little six A shuffle, one seventy nine BPM. Oh yeah. You do have a, a nice what? Oh yeah. We got a nice a nice bevy of miniature pedals down here too. We'll get to those. So here you go. Oh I gotta hit the one. It's so fast. Oh boy, that tempo's just cooking. You just go ahead. Feels. One, two, three, four. Well, oh, that was underwhelming. Let's <laughs> just start. Just let it go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. She's my woman of gold, and she's not very old. Oh. She's my woman with gold, and she's not very old. Oh, I don't mean to be bold, but may I hold your hand? Well, she ain't no witch, and I love the way she twitch on. Oh. Well, she ain't no witch, and I love the way she twitch on. Oh. I'm a labor of love in my Persian club. Oh, uh -huh. well, she's faster than most, and she lives on the coast. Oh, uh -huh. well, she's faster than most, and she lives on the coast. Oh, uh -huh. I'm a two penny prince, and I give a heart love. Uh -huh. Solo.
but she ain't no witch, and I love the way she twitch on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, she ain't no witch, and I love the way she twitch on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a two penny prince, and I give a hot love a oh, oh. I love it when we do some T-Rex. I think we only do T-Rex when you're here. <laughs> <coughs> How you so, doing over there? You good? Yeah. Yeah? I got some slippery, sweaty hands. <laughs> slippery, slippery. That was, that was great, man. That, li listen to me, I'm crazy right now. That kind of music kind of always puts me in a, uh, an interesting space. It's like party time. Mm -hmm. And it's like I want to grab you either, not by the throat, but by the hips. Am I saying strange shit again? <laughs> Always, but it's all right. It's all, it's all no, right. it's the music, man. I swear to God, I get like intoxicated from it. You just do these kind of groovy, blues derivative things, and you drag them through some sludge, and it's cool. I believe the technical term is bowling boogie riff. Mm. Ooh, that makes sense. that's even way cooler sounding. I've, I've, I've read that phrase sure. many times in guitar and music magazines. Totally dig it, man. Get I your, really do. Get your Les Paul and fire up a, a bowling boogie riff. He was like, his, so many of his songs are so simple, but the riffs are just oh yeah, they're, genius. They're yeah. just like hand perfect. candy. Get yes. yourself some hand candy. Get yourself Mark Bowling. Yes. Get a sound more like. Get yourself some hand candy and listen to Mark. I Bowling. think it would have been get yourself some more hand candy. Oh, from Mark Bowling. <laughs> I don't think I want to demonstrate that. Yes, that bowl, yes. But yes. Very, very and 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 the tone is quite oh. important as well. Yes. Yes. So it yes. sounds like I must speak. Oh, see, I can't. I almost like it's just. Almost, it's it's so hard to talk like. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's okay. You Give know, me my voice back. I'll talk like this for the rest of the episode. <laughs> now, hot dog diggity tang. I'll talk like this and they talk like Brits. All right. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? We do a guitar lesson. You guys want a guitar lesson? Grab the guitars. Do a little, little, uh, let's do like like a lick of the day. Show them a lick. Show them a lick? Yeah. Um, my goodness. We uh, did, we did. Put a Mr. Vaughn on the spot. We did Dragon Whips' his tail last time. So what, what, what else you It doesn't got? have to be so, so super technical with a lot of philosophy behind it. Just, you know, get, like something that feels good and maybe just describe. How about, how about a concept? There you go. Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> I'm Fair down enough. Do your thing. <laughs> no, it's a, well, um, it, I could do a lick and a concept. How's that? Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, I wanna, Coming at you. So there's something that. Uh, I've heard quite a bit for years, and I love this phrase, and it's uh, the fine art of subtle variation. And if you look at, like, especially like some jazz players or some classical music, have an idea where they'll state a theme, and let's just pick a number of notes. I don't know, seven, mm -hmm. right? You got your seven note theme, and you might hammer that home a little bit, the listener gets used to it, and then you just change one note. Mm -hmm. Let's say you change note seven. So the, and then you start to do that. So the first six notes are the same. You could even alternate. So you do the seven, and then you do the same six notes, and the seventh note's different. Then you go back to the first theme, and you go back it's to, for to them. the second. It's for them. Yes, but back and forth. So what you can do is take a nice, s simple riff, like... Awesome. And then... What, what kind of chord are you hearing? Are you hearing an A minor right there? I can give yeah. it to you. Yeah. Well, so A yeah. minor, guys. This one will work as well, but I was just trying to so, meet Greg in the middle yeah. because he's so, on the fifth fret. So, so fifth the, fret that's bar. just basic A minor pentatonic. So I'm just doing the, your standard like Chuck Berry. And then... There, and then I'm doing a little hammer on pull off Jimmy Page thing. Certainly, Page. I hear yeah, it. coming down. So, what I like to do is do a simple riff like that again bend. And then, different technique the pull offs. So, I'm ending on a C. Okay. So, for instance, even if you're playing different chords, what I might do is play that same riff again to create tension, but depending on the chords you're playing underneath is going to determine my end note. Mm. Everything else is the same. 
So go ahead and play the A minor. I'll go. Play F major. Awesome. Play a G. And back to the A minor. That was really some good stuff right there. So I love doing stuff like that. You've got the consistency of a theme, but then you could match your end note to the chord progression. Mm. And then also going with the tension and release concept, you could try to hit one of the notes in the triad of whatever chord you're playing, your one, your three, or your five. Or what I like to do as well, even with the phrase in the front, is do a whole loop of a chord progression and maybe consciously, purposely avoid those triad notes. Totally. To create tension. And mm. then the listener, even if they don't know anything about theory, they're like, they, they what? Feel something. They, they, they feel it, they feel it. And then you start to wonder, when's it going to end? Is he mm. ever going to resolve? And then when you finally resolve, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it you know, the tension is released. Tension. But it's, I like to do that with really repetitive phrases. So you've got something to grab onto. And then you've got the notes at at, at the end. So, and you you know you don't have to be doing some outside weird scale to do that concept. And this like is said, the that's subtle art of the subtle the, art the of fine art of subtle variation. The fine subtle art of subtle variation. variation. And, yes, and you could apply it to you know to anything, to dance, to to music, to painting. Yeah. So all I'm doing is just changing. I'm just changing the last note. mess with that for a second you know we're, we're, we're at the very edge of this episode mm -hmm. are you guys having fun mr. Greg Vaughn is freaking exciting this is so much this is so cool you know uh, while I'm semi closing this out for a minute you know we have another piece of music to, to do I kind of want to do Koto and Poto again but let me, let, well why don't we break out the uh, I want to give yes yeah, so you do yeah. the saw I'm actually going so, to give okay. you a few things and then let's, uh, and let's do that that little blues thing at the end That's yeah the end. yeah yeah we will do that so That's thank you cool. so much for uh, participating with this guitar lesson feel free to keep those guitars in your hand and just jam along with the rest of our stuff yeah anytime you guys feel like playing do it you know i don't know if you get, if this will fit back there or if i should put this oh in front or yeah. yeah that might be a good idea just put, yeah we gotta be careful with lizzie. take care of lizzie we can switch these out if you want yeah. There's a stand right there. Oh, just use the stand. Oh, there you go. In the way. Okay. So this is us. Uh, okay. You're right in the middle of the shot. Okay. There you go. I'll take that. So let's grab this. Look at this. Everyone moves so graceful in this in this room. It totally blows me away. Uh, yeah. Let me get a little vibe going here. You know, we uh, the Beat Buddy just came out with the Red Hot Chili Pepper drum beats and the new Prince drum beats. I was going to. Uh, tried to use those tonight, but we ran out of time. And uh, so those are some new, for all you Beat Buddy owners out there, the Red Hot Chili Pepper and the Prince Drum Beats are available for you. Very excited. Funga time! So I'm gonna get us kind of vibing on something over here, get that ready. Man, it's almost like we can grab that ballad. You know how, Jason, there's the ballad? Hmm. The ballad folder in here? Oh yeah. It'd be kind of cool to just trip on some of that. I'm going to start, uh, I chose Ballad 6 just for the heck of it. I'm gonna, you know, we'll jam that when we, when we find it appropriate. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start putting, I, I got a, a bunch of these, I'm gonna start putting like a couple beats of everything. So mm -hmm. like when we have specific shows, I'm gonna um, plug in, I can almost design one per guest if I want to. Hmm. But um, I want to be a little bit more efficient for you guys, so I'm not down here. I've noticed consistently uh, I, it takes me That's... a little while to prepare down here, and you know, me, if it doesn't bother you, great, but it bothers me. Hmm. So um, thank you, Faye, for uh, supplying me with ample cards. It's a, it's a big deal. Thanks, Faye. Well, it makes sense. So, so basically, on it, and that works for anybody, too, that would be using the beat, but you can have just a folder of just a, a, like a few songs. Oh and put it right on so you can actually just have your music 
inject it in there yes. and, it, and it works. I would like, like to add this too. I had a nice conversation with David the other day and he was saying, hey, I know that, you know, you don't have any drummer guests on. So he mentioned that if we had one of those cool rolling kits, like mm -hmm. the small ones, not the big giant V-drum deal, but like those really new sleek ones, mm -hmm. We can run MIDI into that, into that yeah. and trigger all of the Beat Buddy kits. So that's so still Jake, technically, get ready. that's still, and Dusty <laughs> and too, Dusty, man, yeah. Bryce. Yeah. That's still technically a Beat Buddy show because their tones will be all this audio. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. drummers coming soon. So okay. Where are we going to put them up there? No, we're going to, no, they're going to be a guest. Oh, it's, it, I mean, it's going to be about, you know, except they'll have like a little rolling kit right we're here. We're going to build a platform. Drum riser. Do I gonna, do I get to stand gonna, like this? We're gonna shrink them down. I, I invented a shrink ray, so we're gonna shrink them down and put them right on the. Shrink. Aren't we gonna add a clapper too? Yes. yes. You yes. you promised me a clapper. Yeah. For show for yeah. show number three of mine. Yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> so let's clap let's get downtown with some of this vibe. Bone. Sure. Do you want some beats or are you doing a, a solo vibe? Right? Uh, I think I'll maybe just just do the size. Cool. Yeah. Wow, look at the side markers. Those are actually from uh, an ice cream sticker. <laughs> of course they So, uh, yeah, there's it's been... Great. I heavily customized this as I did uh, my other saws. So, um, and just to mark some positions, I, uh, yeah, I just had an ice cream sticker. I got it like a street fair, and I just cut it up. And, Where's uh, the ice cream at? Uh, you didn't eat it? Long gone. Yeah. It's yes. long. He didn't bring... He yes. It doesn't really keep. Bobo, you know. To see the stuff that I keep. Yeah. You ready for a song? Yep. Oh. Okay. So uh, this is Mirabai. It's on the second Donnie Bot album.
It's just double, it's uh, how many strings? It has uh, seven strings, yeah. but it is, they are referred to as uh, courses. Mm. It's like you have three courses. Essentially think of that as a note and, yeah. and kind of like a 12 string guitar, guitar has double six notes. courses. Yeah, mm, so you've got octave, doubled, and then octave, and then doubled on the top. Mm. Some saws are six strings, some are seven. Mm. But it's basically, it's like um, a lot of people, they, the standard is a lot of people like to tune to C. Okay. Um, like, I've got mine tuned down to an A power chord. Okay. It just gives it a... Yeah, a little bit lower. A little, yeah, a little lower, fuller yeah. sound. So I've seen people play in C, B, B flat, and A. And when I got mine, I just kept just going, going down. deeper and yeah. deeper and deeper. So I wanted like a thicker, heavier sound. So. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a this is a long neck saw. Yeah. You know, to, uh, if it's Typical. a saw, it's it's like quite a bit shoulder or mm. shorter, and the body's quite a bit smaller. But mm. um, yeah, I just um, I just the where, I was just obsessed the... with these for for years. Pickups where, inside is probably a pie. The uh, the pickup is is inside. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even yeah. say the word, and they yeah. knew where I was talking about. Yes. I was motioning like, where's the? Yep. And it's going out the end. That? Of, oop, oop. That's it. That wasn't that was important. Just a pen. Yeah. And again, long neck saws. Yeah. So and you've got the nice little uh, Ooh, yeah. yeah little little crazy a, a inlay really awesome graphic. pattern and that's how you work on the uh, inside the electronics. Of electronics yeah and that stuff. makes sense that little piece it's like a plug pops off yeah yep. yeah wow. so Very but uh, yeah I or, I bum. ordered this uh, from uh, from Turkey as yeah. as as my other one so yeah you can't go to your local guitar center and get a Turkish size. They don't no. carry them well, yet. How do you spell that? S A. <laughs> Just S A Z. S A Z. And June Bush is actually, well, I'll let me say how to spell it, and you could figure out yourself what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. C U M B U S, but it's pronounced June Bush. June Bush. Yeah. C U M B U S. June Bush. Yes. The strange yeah. phonetics there. Huh? Oh, yes. June Bush. Yes. Yeah. yes. Bush. What so, a bunch of June Bush that is. <laughs> Uh, so hey, may, may I give you a few things? Oh, absolutely. For a just you know, no no absolutely. rush, of course. With the, did you need me to bring that? Give yeah, that if back you to could, you? if you could put the uh, a look. few gifts from our oh, sponsors. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And now a few gifts from our sponsors. Wonderful. What we got? We got picks. We got some picks going there. Some stickers. You know I love stickers. Some more stickers. You did tell me last week you like stickers, boy. I make sure to put a couple extra there for you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, you can't help it sometimes. Are these varying levels of thickness I, you and know, different I, materials? I, and since you're a teacher and people come over your house, I thought it was uh, complimentary to just keep rocking. Those keep are your disposable on. picks for your students, keep I guess. Unless you like them. You know, I, I we've had some convergence over here. I know that Anthony Lococo and James Steele are fond of the purple Mad Hatters. These are the pick of my choice. So, uh... Due to some of the uh, wonderful product we have here, we share it with the guests, and um, you guys end up subsequently liking the product too, and we love it. I want to say, hey, what's up, Ed Heisler, to Mad Hatter Guitars, Mad Ooh, Hatter awesome. Guitar Products. <laughs> I'm, I'm cross-referencing my our sponsors now, and then I want to say hi to Kurt and Samantha over at Kurt Megan. Really, really dig you guys. How are you this evening? Awesome. Also, Don at uh, Guitar Tune Up San Diego. All you uh, local guys out there in San Diego, if you need someone to pick up your guitar, <laughs> call Don Lauder at Guitar Tune Up. Our the links and are all we're all yeah, it's you all can shared. find the links. We'll find the and he'll come to your house. He'll pick up your guitar. He also does basses and he works on amps. Uh, you know some some easier, not complicated fixes. But and he also fixes pedals. And also yeah, Don offers a lot of great services. Give him a call. Service. Yeah, full he's service. great prices. He's the one helping out in Guitar Tech and all of our it's guitars like, between Jason and I. It's like and a mechanic for your guitar. Yeah, man. And he comes over to pick it up, dude. Who does that? Yeah. No one. Yeah. Anyhow, 
I wanted to say those things, get back to our music. I think it's time to uh, end tonight's broadcast. We're going to do a jam, and I want to say what's up to Heather Nation. How are you, girl? She's going to be here next week, a lovely singer-songwriter, kick-ass guitar player, and she's going to get on the show and fuck it up, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm probably the one that's going to F it up. But, yeah. but you know, you know what I meant, Heather? We look forward to seeing you, dear. Give me a call. Well, text. Send me a PM. we got some things to talk about. So... On that note, I, I went back to uh, I went back to the rock groove, thinking that we were gonna sandwich our grooves. Like what we opened up with is what we could close with. Sure. Uh, is that cool. That you sounds on that? awesome. Well, I wanted to do the the, the, the other the, jam, but that's okay. You yeah. wanted you want to do something emotional and possibly put our audience asleep. You mean asleep? you want to do Koto and Poto again? Or you well, yeah, either one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or the agent. Tell you what, we're gonna ask you. Would you like to hear Koto and Poto, that harmonized vicious? cool guitar piece that I worked on, or would you like to hear the opening jam where, where Greg and I are loose and just face melting you and showing our wonderful tricks in A minor penta? I'm gonna wait about 10 seconds and wait for one of y'all to put something in the comments and whatever you yeah. write, that's what we're gonna play. Well, in the meantime, I could just close this out and we'll look. Close this out! All right. Well, <laughs> thanks again, guys, for watching. Another <laughs> another time. great show. Greg, thanks for coming. Yeah, I, absolutely. Last, as, absolutely. As last time, I, I'm a very big fan of your your guitar playing and your your methodology on your stuff. I'm thank very you. very impressed with that. And uh, I'd like to thank our uh, thanks guys from watching. Next you know, go to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I did post a link first part of the the show. I'm going to post time. it again at the end. Please go there, like, share and subscribe. Thanks our spon thank to our sponsors, Singular Sound Beat Buddy, Kurt Mangan Strings, Mad Hatter Guitar Products and Guitar Town of San Diego. Don is in there. Hi Don. Hey, what's up Raymond? I saw you coming. And uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Cthulhu. Dave of Sound Right or SWR Video Productions. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, man, I think that's that's about it. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we got shows for Greg Vaughn. Just remember, uh, Jeff the Jeff Jeff Bloom All Stars with your with uh, that's that's coming up on a uh, Wednesday, well, November twenty second, right? Day before Thanksgiving. Day at, before at Thanksgiving. The, at the Ocean Beach Farmers Market. Yeah. And then the uh, Bowie and uh, T Rex tributes at Casbah, Wednesday, December twentieth. And okay, that's it. And, yeah. and and pick up your copy. And where can we find this wonderful? Uh, um, is it uh, is it available for for purchase? Yes. At, at, uh, uh, hit me up, and hit, I'll hit, get you. Hit Greg get up. you a, get You'll you find a copy. Him, Facebook. Yes. <laughs> whatever you're gonna do. Yes. Uh, Inst. I M M P M M. Whatever. It's a really fun list. DM. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one for your collection. And come in for a lesson, and I'll teach you a song. Awesome. Okay, looks like, uh, looks like, uh, well, we got Darian just came in and said Poto. So maybe we could just do both of them and go right in. It's Poto. Yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Let's do well, it. Well, if so someone Poto. requested Koto and Poto. Poto, Koto, and Poto. I think we got to do that. Let's do that. I got uh, Rock 2 at the 112, so Koto Poto's first. Yep. So, yes. Thank you for chiming in, Darren. Darian. Darian. Here it is for y'all. See you next week. I'm gonna do a fill. I think it's a little simpler. And okay, on the one. <laughs> <laughs>